Brendan here from Energy Training Group. Another of the major changes in AS5033 2021 is the way conduits are able to be installed where they could potentially cause water to end up inside of a DC isolator or inverter. The way the old 5033 was written, all conduits would be sealed and glued and then terminate into a DC isolator at ground level. This meant if something wasn't quite right, the conduit just acted as a pipe that drained that water straight into an enclosure with a few hundred volts DC inside. This was not good. This led to things setting on fire. Under the new standard, where any part of a conduit system containing DC voltage is outdoors and terminates into an enclosure that contains a DC isolator, you have two options available to prevent water ingress. The first involves not having the conduit terminate into the enclosure at all. With this method, you keep the conduits open at either end and create a drip loop at the lowest point below the ground level isolator. Then, using a multi-hole gland, bottom entry into your enclosure. Given the conduit is not continuous into the enclosure, this should guarantee no water could possibly enter your enclosure. I would, however, still recommend using a multi-hole gland on your conduits at the top and bottom. This will provide strain relief on the off chance someone was to pull on the drip loop. With completely open conduits at either end, pulling on that cable would pull on your disconnection point at the rooftop and potentially cause a fault. The second method involves a drain device that currently doesn't seem to exist in any wholesalers catalogues that I'm aware of. With this method, where a conduit is terminating into an enclosure, a drain device must be installed at the lowest point in the conduit system. This may be a little more aesthetically pleasing than the other method, but given it doesn't appear any of these drain devices currently exist, it might be easier to use the first method. Finally, it is important to note that anywhere conduit terminates into an enclosure, a drain device is required. This would include the small piece of corrugated you might connect to a rooftop isolator if you had to install one. Given the extra pain this would create for minimal gain, I would recommend if you must install a rooftop isolator, just put a multi-hole gland directly onto the enclosure and bring your cables in that way. That about covers the changes to the way enclosures need to be protected from water in the new standard. Good luck and happy installing.